Thanks a lot for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on Nigerian newspapers this morning. And uh, just like uh, previous days, we have a host of them. We're looking at leadership now. And uh, leadership is counting down uh, to Wednesday's kickoff of uh, the presidential campaigns, of course, other electioneering activities. It calls its big story, Another Transition Begins tomorrow, Wednesday, as INEC lifts ban on campaigns. We check out details in the, the leadership. A blueprint is next. 24 hours to campaign kickoff, it says. INEC warns against abusive, intemperate, slanderous language. Urges political parties to observe guidelines on rallies and processions. Says we are at critical stage of preparations. That's uh, all on the blueprint. And it's the same narrative for the punch. INEC can, that's the Christian Association of Nigeria, as well as the Sultan of Sokoto, warn parties and supporters against violence. Daily Trust is next. A, a different narrative there. The big story is it calls it a disquiet in the APC over composition of campaign team, Oshibajo, that's the vice president, Professor Oshibajo, and um, former River State Governor Rutimi Amechi's silence raising dust, it says. And Tinubu begins campaign with prayer session. Council fails to issue letters to nominees. We're open to working with all, a spokesperson of the Presidential Campaign Council of the APC says. Finally with me is First News and why Afeni Ferry will not back Tinubu and Atiku. These are uh, the two the presidential candidates uh, of the APC and the PDP. Now, Pa Debanjo is uh, said to be saying there why Afeni Ferry will not back Ashiwaju Tinubu and Atiku Abubakar. Over now to Vero. All right, and um, looking at the front page of the Daily Times, still reacting to Pa Debanjo's statements, 2023 presidency, why Afeni Ferry peaked Obi Debanjo speaking, 2023 presidency, why Afeni Ferry peaked Obi Adebanjo speaking. We move now to the front page of the Daily Independent. Uh, confusion as federal government retracts order asking uh, VCs to reopen varsities. Confusion as federal government retracts order asking vice chancellors to reopen varsities. You find all of the details on the front page of uh, the Daily Independent. We move now to the Nation newspaper. Akere Dulu, no going back on plan to arm Amotekun Corps. Weapons procurement will be backed by law. Outfit needs two to carry out its duties. Uh, Akere Dulu speaking regards to Amotekun Corps in the state. All right, you find all of the details on the front page of the Nation newspaper. To this Nigerian newspaper now. National grid collapses eight times in 2022. Abuja, Lagos, five southeast states thrown into darkness, but that has been restored now. Power has been restored to Lagos State, for instance. All right, to news direct now. Eight grid collapse, manufacturers, business energy users face hard times over nationwide blackout. Unreliable power supply threat to industrialization. Nasima speaking. There are discontinued national grid to end incessant collapse. Experts speaking as well as TCN commences partial restoration of uh, power. The details on the front page of uh, the news direct to the business day. Naira under pressure as MPC decides on rate today. Naira under pressure as uh, MPC decides on rate today. And finally, on the front page of the Gulf News, no more mask mandates in UAE from tomorrow. Protocol only applies to mosques, medical facilities, public transport. Kemi. Right. All right. Interesting headline stories there, if you ask me. And uh, only yesterday we we're talking about uh, the APC's release of about 420 something member list of its uh, full members of its. Uh, Presidential Campaign Council, and of course over the weekend, the party also 
explained why it uh, left out the vice president, Oshibajo. Uh, of course, with the president chairing the council, it says it's only uh, natural that uh, both the president and the vice president will not be on that council. The vice president will uh, deputize for the president to handle national matters while the president faces uh, the business of uh, campaigning or chairing the campaigns for for the party. But so you yeah. know, going looking at what Daily Trust has says yeah. has said now, uh, there appears to be some some come of some form of issues. Uh, even though we understand that the party will now issue out letters to all the members of the uh, campaign council on Wednesday. Uh, it seems to me that they're trying to make uh, something out of uh, nothing because uh, right. They have said that uh, you know the reason that um, the SGF and um, and um, um, uh, the, vice, the president. vice president are not on the list is is not to give um, the impression that um, the government is on holiday from um, governance and that governance is still in operation. I think uh, I think it is just um, an act of mischief for people to start saying that. Uh, it means they're undermining them. Everybody cannot be on the campaign, on the campaign, uh, uh, you know, on the campaign train. As big and, as and, it then, is. and then the campaign train, there are 400 people. You imagine what the 400 people are doing in the council. Mm. Eh? I thought the council should be, in the final, in the final analysis, it will not be more than 10 people who are actually we, active we, and working. We, 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 so we. the whole idea is just to give, a, the, the number is to give the idea of the Catholicity of the party in the, the sense of hand. bringing different different forces mm. together. We know you are there, you know you are here, we know we recognize you, and so on and so forth. Mm. And uh, the whole idea, what uh, so one of the newspapers was talking about, Vice President and Amici is silent and, and, and all that. Yeah. Uh, Amici is silent, and is he supposed to be saying anything? <laughs> <laughs> eh? I don't understand this, too. I don't know what they mean by that. So uh, I think they are, they, are, they are making something out of nothing. nothing. Mm, well, 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 of course, um, the, the expectation is that, you know, whether you're in the council, uh, you are a ca ca carrying member, member of the party. The of and the uh, naturally, the, the, the zeal for the party to emerge victorious should be uh, the main priority for every member now, leader Absolutely. and, you know, ordinary, ordinary member. And it's just a bit of the issue at hand. Some have called it, looking at the Wednesday date now, a period of excitement. Some have also said... It's also a time to express considerable level of anxiety, mm -hmm. looking at the state of the country, security-wise, and of course the narrative. I uh, religious leaders have also, you know, stressed the need to be temperate in comments, in campaigns, in narratives at this time to ensure that we toe the line of justice and uh, peace in, in the country. It's very important, Kemi, because, like you rightly mentioned. Uh, the situation which we find ourselves now, tension here and there, little things trigger people. And so one has to be careful how you speak and the kind of narrative you put out there that uh, does not give an impression that you are one-sided or you have to carry everybody along at the end of the day. And it behoves on every person. You don't have to be part of any campaign train. You don't have to be any thing. You sh as long as you are in Nigeria and you know that the campaigns are beginning in earnest tomorrow, it behoves on you to take up that responsibility that whatever you see, be it on social media, any platform you find yourself, you have the other person at the back of your mind. Words that do not trigger or incite violence. Any statement, because we see that on social media especially, People, you know, just throwing tantrums, speaking at people, not respecting their elders, just saying one thing or the other because you belong to a party. Yes, everyone has a right to belong to any party they want to, freedom of association, freedom of speech, but you must be responsible. Moving on from tomorrow, you have to take up that responsibility because whatever you say, you might think it would not affect you today, but it might affect someone whom you know. At the end of the day, if it triggers any violence, so to speak. So what we intend to achieve or what the government and INEC is saying, be responsible from tomorrow. You do not have to be part of any political party. These issues affect you. Just present your matters, you know, in such a way, brilliantly, 
but not abusing or bringing down anyone. And of course, while um, attention will be on traditional media outlets uh, to, on the need to you know, maintain neutrality throughout the, the political campaign, it also remains to be seen how regulators will maintain uh, the narratives being championed on, on the internet, on social media. When we were uh, practicing uh, student unionism in those days, we had the phrase when things were getting out of hand, we say, Kulu, Kulu, Tempa. Kulu, Tempa. Kulu, 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 Tempa. And it worked? The Tempa, <laughs> it, sometimes it worked. But, you know, there was humor to it. Right. There was a sense of uh, self, um, self um, de 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 denigration, you know, in a sense, you know, in a very laughable sense. But, but what, this, what, what we are going into is actually a very unusual um, campaign season. I don't think we've had this kind of campaign season before mm. because of the level of temper, the level of, of rhetoric that, that has not been seen before in, in our politics. And for the first time, the social media is going to take center stage in not, not, not deciding how the election will go, but in deciding the temperament of the election. Yeah. Because people just believe that they can just lie. They lie. I saw some reports yesterday saying that a candidate went to London for medical practice, for medical uh, uh, checkup, check uh, examination, or whatever, treatment two days to the election. And there's nothing like that. Mm. There, there are all kinds of stories that are going around, and people... People who love other people's uh, misery, they want to circulate it. And so you, we have a situation where the NBC should be more interested in those people who are on the internet doing rubbish than uh, the traditional newspapers who have more balanced sense of our, our future, who have a serenity of vision, who have a balance of, uh, a balance of temperament, who have a balance of uh, poise, and so on and so forth. So we are more interested in those, because as, as I see it, as I see it, we are going to get into a system, a, a very, very hot water, a very, very stormy season. And we have to, you know, when you are flying, when you are flying, when you are getting to a turbulent, they say, adjust your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. I think... Nigeria should adjust right. the seatbelt in this rhetorical storm right. that we are going into. All right. It's well, very well, important. Well, I agree. I agree. 